Work on the establishment of what will be the largest titanium mining plant in eastern Central Africa are in a top gear here in Kwale. The 25 billion shillings Kwale Mineral Sands projects entail the construction of processing plants, marine facilities, a power substation and transmission line, a dam, access roads, storage facilities and other support facilities. The, the project is coming together well. We're uh, over 40% complete now and uh, we're on schedule for our uh, target of, of having the, the project constructed by August of next year. Oh, sorry, I should say next year, 2013. Best Resources CEO has said the project will produce an average of 330,000 tons of ilminite, 80,000 tons of rutile and 35,000 tons of zircon per year. These three minerals, which are important ingredients in the manufacturing of ceramics and paints, are expected to bring about 21.5 billion shillings every year during the initial six years of the project's life. Just be with this mine, because it will more than triple mineral sector export earnings, you know, we'll see uh, the mineral sector replace coffee as the fourth largest uh, export in, uh, from Kenya, which I think is going to get a few people's attention. Besides acting as a catalyst to attract an increased investment into the mining sector, the project will also help establish the model which will be used in Kenya's mining industry. But the project is being implemented at a time when Kenya's mining industry is still coming to terms with a new government policy requiring all mining firms to cede at least 35% of their stake to local shareholders. The policy, recently introduced by Environment and Mineral Resources Minister, has rattled the sector that has witnessed increasing activities in recent months. Re releasing a regulation like this in the way it's been done has, has an impact. Um, I would have preferred to have seen such a big policy shift be introduced in the context of the whole mining bill. You know, let's debate that, let's have Parliament look at it, let's have you know, a robust debate um, and establish the overall settings for Kenya and then introduce it as one package. Uh, introducing bits of it by regulation in isolation before that debate, you know, I, don't, I don't think that's the way. Um, a country like Kenya that wants to be seen as a, you know, a stable place for foreign investment really wants to, to go about things. The Australian-based mining company, however, remains open to inviting more Kenyan participation in the project. This as the scramble for Kenya's recent natural resource discoveries such as oil and coal takes shape. Mugumwangi, K24 Business Today.